I'm Tracy Whitley. Uh, I live in Southwest Virginia, but I attend church in Tennessee. I'm an avid gardener, and also for many years, uh, I've rescued animals. I've gone to Seventh-day Adventist church most of my life because I grew up a Seventh-day Adventist and I went to church with my mom. I enjoyed having special music because I love to sing and I did children's stories. And then about 11 years ago, I became disabled in a car accident and my attendance at church completely changed because uh, my doctor suggested to me that I would benefit from having a service dog um, as my medical equipment. I no longer had to stay home. I was safe to be able to go out with a service dog. But then all of a sudden everything changed and I had to get permission to go into the church that I was raised in. It kind of broke my heart. But then I discovered that God could use me as I am now. I started at that point to become an advocate and to teach people that there was nothing to be scared of with accepting a service dog into the sanctuary. It's, service dogs aren't a pet. Service dogs are defined as uh, a trained service dog that is used to mitigate a disability, which means they, they are taught to do tasks to help mitigate symptoms of a disability. I go to church and our greeter hands me the bulletin and says, nice to see you, gives me a little hug, never says a word to my service dog doesn't hurt my feelings at all. <laughs> it's actually a relief, it's great. The best thing you can do for a handler that has a service dog is not ignore the dog. It's a relief, because for a lot of dogs, especially with medical alert dogs, distracting the dog can actually cause them to miss an alert. And that could be detrimental to the handler. They are functioning as medical equipment, just the same as someone with an oxygen tank or a wheelchair or a walker. It's, it's exact same qualification, except they're a living being. I've been to places where I'm totally ignored and everybody's like, oh, what a cute puppy. Look at the puppy. Can we pet the puppy? And nobody says a word to me. And I don't really believe that anybody uh, wants to treat anybody badly that comes into our churches. I think, it's just because they just don't know. And that's what I'm so passionate about is, is educating people. I think it's important that God uses us where we are, you know, to reach people where they are. 31 of the miracles that Jesus did on earth during his ministry directly impacted a person with disabilities. And if we're supposed to have the same ministry with Jesus as our example, <laughs> that was his example. We need to minister with people with disabilities, meet them where they are, change the small things that we can change to make them comfortable, because we all have the same goal in the end, to worship the Lord, to be a witness to others, and to go to heaven. I want there to be an opportunity for everyone to get there.